to our Ravens who are standing with us here today. We love you. You are our heroes. We believe in you. We're going to continue to fight to make sure that no house is closed in the city of New York. Thank you for all of the work that you do on a daily basis. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a strong round of applause. Yeah. All right. President Cassidy, uh, is, once again, this year we're standing, except that we're not in front of Ladder House 53 on City Island. But if you see here, my colleagues in government, the city council members of the Bronx, who are not standing necessarily in their district except for Annabelle Palmer, once again are saying that no single firehouse should be closed in the entire Bronx. Last year was Firehouse 60, uh, 53. I'm here also on a personal basis because Annabelle Palmer while she lives in this district, I also live in this district. I live just two blocks away at 820 Boynton Avenue, those high rises across from the park. Understand that I'm a husband, I am a father, I have neighbors, I live in a place where there are high rises. If a firehouse like this were to be closed down, the nearest firehouse would be the one on Castle Hill, which is over a mile away. Could you imagine, Mr. Mayor, when you do your budget, Understand that there has to be sacred cows, that there has to be a point where even though we live in a budget crisis and even though there's, there's an economic meltdown, there, there are certain areas that should not ever be touched. The police department is one of them, and certainly our firehouses are the other sacred cows. That's it. If you want to say... <laughs> if you're looking to save money, Mr. Mayor, for those of you who are budget crunching and sharpening your pencils for the administration, why don't you look at all of the contracts that you're giving out from the Department of Education? Millions and millions of dollars that have been thrown away. If you just take a couple of your consultants over there and you put them to the side, you will have more than enough money so that not one single firehouse is closed in the Bronx or throughout the city of New York. Mr. Mayor, our safety, our children's safety, the senior safety, should never, ever be put in jeopardy. So I'm here, uh, Chairwoman Crowley, to say that I stand with you and my city council colleagues and the delegation here in the Bronx with this Chairwoman Annabelle Palmer to say to the mayor that enough is enough. Find some other place to sharpen your pencils. Find some other place to find the money because we need these young men and women who on a daily basis are out there saving our lives. And that's why I'm here today. Thank you all, and we're going to continue to fight. All right, all right.